Hello friends, I'm Varun and welcome to my channel IT with Varun to master the fundamentals. Today I'll cover an important topic which is understanding the difference between IT audit and IT compliance. Now we keep on hearing these two terms and even use them interchangeably. But it's so confusing to differentiate between the two. So as I do in all my videos, what we'll do today is understand the basics and get the clarity. Now first let us understand what is IT audit or what is audit basically. So audit is nothing but an independent evaluation of information. The, if, if the information is financial in nature, it is a financial audit. If the information is related to systems, data and processes, it is referred to as IT or technology audit. And we have heard the term probably by now what, a, what an IT or technology audit is. So you might say IT compliance is also the same. Now, what is the difference between the two, right? That, that's an obvious question which we keep on asking. You're right. IT compliance is also evaluation of information related to systems, data and processes. But there are three key differences which I've listed here and we'll go one by one on each one of them. First is a risk lens, which means the risk areas covered as part of IT audit versus IT compliance. Now, IT compliance is, is concerned with regulatory risk. Um, examples are like Sarbanes-Oxley in finance, GDPR in data privacy, while IT audit, its risk coverage is much, much broader and it covers all risks related to the company, not just regulatory risk. I've created separate videos on risk, which are very helpful to understand these basic concepts. So please feel free to watch those videos. And I've also posted the links to those videos in the description section of this video. Now coming back to the second main difference between IT compliance versus IT audit is the objective. Now the difference lies in the objective, which is basically the idea behind it. Like the objective of IT compliance is compliance with regulatory requirements. First to identify the requirements and then decide how to comply with them. Now, while objective of any IT audit or any audit is to provide assurance, which is to make sure the compliance requirements have been met. The third and the last risk difference in, in between IT compliance versus IT audit is positioning inside the company. Now, positioning of these functions in an organization is, is critical, right? Where do these functions sit in the company? Now, audit is completely independent in terms of structure and reporting, and that's the whole basis of having an audit function in a company. While compliance, they're not fully independent, but they are somewhat part of business functions. Um, you, so you might be having more questions around this. So please go to my video titled, Three Lines of Difference, to get a deeper understanding where I have dived much more detail into detail on how these structures look like in, in a company, what kind of layers do we have across the board, which is divided basically into three different layers. Hope the, this video helped in understanding the difference between IT audit and IT compliance. Thanks for listening. And more, for more such videos, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Till then, bye.